Well, my package from China has arrived, so let's see what's inside. Well, this gives you a bit of an indication of the size of the little bugger. So it's uh, it's pretty dinky compared to my uh, laptop. So let's see how it all uh, comes apart then. Well, I've taken all out of the packaging. We've got uh, a one an OTG connector for USB devices there. Uh, the power supply is here, which is uh, through this little power brick, and then we've got a mini HDMI to a full-sized HDMI there. So the next step is to plug it in to the TV, which doesn't seem to be focusing well here, but uh, I'll certainly give that a go. Alright, I've hooked it all up. <clears throat> I've got the uh, HDMI at the back of the TV. It's hard to see this actually. It's actually quite bright in the room, but my phone seems to be struggling with seeing it. So I've got the device there hanging. The, you can see it's on, there's a little blue light. I've got the the mouse is plugged in here. And then I've turned the TV on. And we have uh, the Android desktop. So I shall stop this for a sec and I'll go in and see what I can do. It looks pretty sharp. Um, you know, it's it's pretty clear on the, uh, I think this is a 42 inch TV. You know, so it's obviously you get the time set up. Um, it should be Jelly Bean, Android Jelly Bean, but it's it's certainly quite clear. It's not like it's uh, fuzzy on the screen. Um, so I shall stop there and get back to you. Well, I've got the uh, thing all set up. <clears throat> it's actually quite snappy. I think it's probably the best way of putting it. Um, there's Facebook. Let's see. It's certainly not. Uh, it's not slow by any, compar any any stretch of the imagination, and as you can see there, I haven't got particularly wonderful signal strength. Um, <clears throat> seems to be connecting to the internet fine. I've done a whole lot of updates. Um, if I bring up, I installed MX Video Player to watch some videos. This is uh, American Horror Show. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's particularly clear uh, to the naked eye. <clears throat> um, there's a little bit of pixelation going on. Um, but it's, it's acceptable. <clears throat> when I'm on the browser, the <clears throat> text quality is a little bit kind of washed out. I don't know if that's the TV. Um, <clears throat> you can maybe see better there. You see how this is kind of washed out? And it's kind of faded. Um, I wouldn't really want to use it, I don't think. It actually looks better on this screen than, uh, than I see with my eye. It looks a little bit clearer. But you can maybe see there it's it's kind of kind of faded looking. Um, what else? There's Google, so we'll just search for something. I'm just using a, a wired mouse at the moment. So let's just do test. Search. This may be a little bit slower this time. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I wouldn't say I was disappointed with it at all with regards to the speed that it does things. Um, I'm going to have to do a test because I've got a... I can't really see it there, but I've also got an Xbox that I usually use to watch videos. Um, but I'll need to do a test to see. So, so far, <clears throat> I'm not convinced the video quality is as good as the Xbox 360. Um, 
the text on the TV, which could be the TV at fault, is a little bit kind of washed out. And if I go to the settings, if I go to display, there's no there's no option to change the brightness. You know, as you normally would see on a on a tablet, um, on sc screen. Uh, I'm on HDMI mode, but this TV <clears throat> appears to only have a 720 option. But I'm sure on the Xbox I get the option of outputting to 1080. Uh, so whether or not that's the the Xbox option or if it's actually the true resolution of a TV is 720. Um, and one thing that I've picked up on is when I go to storage, you'll see here it says total space is 1.48 gigabytes. However, according to this information here, um, the options are for, if you can read that, it's pretty bad, the light, 4 gig or 4G, 8G and 16G. So I don't know if there's an error <coughs> uh, there. But that certainly says I only have a total of 1.48 gigabytes of storage space. So where the other two two gigs or so have gone, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but everything I would say is quite snappy. Um, I'm not keen on this clock thing. I need to try and get something different for that. Uh, the apps that are in there. They come through quite quickly. Let's try YouTube. Again, I've got very, very poor signal strength, as you can see there. Walmart employees throwing iPads. Let's see what that comes up like. Well, nearly 5 million people have looked at this video, so it's quite a popular video. Alright, this is why you don't buy an iPad from Walmart. Hey Cody. See, we like to throw shit. That's iPad number 3 we've thrown. Well, anyway. What else can we do? I think that's probably enough stuff. But yeah, it's quite a snappy little device. It's pretty amazing what it does considering its size. Um, <clears throat> so for me, on this particular TV, yeah, text is a little bit on the washed out side. Uh, maybe when I hook it up to a proper monitor, it might look a lot better. But I think if you're just tinkering around with you know basic multimedia stuff, don't think you'd be disappointed, but if you want to use this really as a, a means of browsing online uh, through your TV, it's maybe not the best solution, but I think if you're sitting back from it, it'll probably be okay. If I could just find out how to change all the uh, contrast and everything on in the device, it would be okay, because uh, I can probably go into the TV to adjust the settings of the TV, but that'll bugger everything else up. Anyway, I shall sign off now before everybody falls asleep.